Have you ever felt that ChatGPT's answers are too vague and not really helpful? Well, after thousands of hours of diving deep into ChatGPT, I've written five game-changing prompts that you need to know. Ever since I found the OpenAI Playground in the middle of 2020, I've been absolutely obsessed with using AI to more than double my work output. Whether you're on the free version or not, these prompts will enhance your AI experience and make using ChatGPT worth your time. The last prompt that I have is super powerful as it allows you to create your own prompts on demand. So no matter your use case or how experienced you are with ChatGPT, this video will give you a prompt to use. All of these prompts along with others that I write are going to be up for grabs on my website. The link is down in the description. They are absolutely free. No email, no credit card, no nothing like that but stick around to learn how to harness them effectively as I give tips throughout the video on what you need to do to use them. For this video, I will be using ChatGPT 3.5 or the free version uh, for demonstration purposes. That way you know how incredibly powerful these prompts are because they're giving you great answers even on the free version of ChatGPT. All right, so prompt number one is business plan blueprint. A business plan is the backbone of any successful venture or business that you have. It's your roadmap to ensuring that you have an idea that you have fully thought out. Now, the business plan blueprint will walk you through step by step of creating your business plan. ChatGPT will continue to check back in with you to make sure that everything that you're thinking and what it's thinking is correct about your business. You will go through all areas of your business with this. You'll evaluate your business, your product or service, your marketing, finances, operations, and more. I use this to check in with my business to see any subtle pivots I've made over time and adjust my marketing accordingly. But also as I launch new things, I go through this to just give me a good laying of the land. So now that we have our business plan, we need to start marketing our business and what better place to do that than on social media. So prompt number two is the social media success kit. Deciding what to post on social media for your business is really hard. Most people can talk on social media as themselves, but how do you speak as your business? So content pillars are the key to keeping your business socials on track. If you aren't familiar with content pillars, they are like the big themes or categories that you focus on when you are creating content for your social media. So copy the success kit prompt and paste in your business plan at the bottom of that and ChatGPT will determine the best content pillars that you should post in and give you an example schedule of a week for you to follow. So this will give you some accountability to stay on top of those posts and grow your brand and all you have to do is just post in the topic or theme of that day. Now, speaking of growing, it's important to keep growing yourself and your skills. So prompt number three is great for anything that you want to start and it is called master any process. This prompt takes as input a single thing that you want to do and creates a step-by-step -step guide to do that thing. So do you want to bake a cake? Do you want to code a new app or website? Do you want to cut down a tree or become a Twitch streamer? You can ask ChatGPT that. Simply replace the variable in the prompt with your activity and watch as a step-by-step -step guide with how long each step takes you, um, hazards or precautions you need to take, and any tools that you will need to complete the step is all created for you. Now, also feel free to ask ChatGPT to expand on any step that you don't understand, and it will give you a full response on just that step, breaking down its kind of summarized version into a version that uh, is fully fleshed out for you. Now, prompt number four is a super long prompt coming in around 400 words for just the prompt itself. It is long for a good reason though, as writing comprehensive, cohesive blogs that convert for you is super difficult, time consuming, and boring if you aren't a writer. So this prompt takes a topic and a short business description as input and generates a blog that is less than 800 words that includes a frequently asked question section and a conclusion that makes a call to action for your specific business. These blogs are outstanding starting places and usually only need about 15 minutes of tweaking to add some links and pictures to fully create a blog that is useful for your readers. Now, I have a few things to note for this one. 
the more descriptive the topic, the better content you will get. So as an example, Facebook ads is a broad topic, but Facebook ads for a brand new car detailing service is specific and will generate a much better article. Number two, also don't copy and paste and post this blog. Read through it, make it personal to your audience. It needs that personal touch to connect and be actually be useful. And lastly, be sure to add links and photos to the blog to enhance it further for you. And now on to prompt number five, which is the mother of all prompts, and that is the prompt architect toolkit, or the prompt that is going to help us create other prompts. So creating prompts is really hard and time consuming. The five prompts that you received in this video took around 20 hours for me to write out, test, and improve upon them to make them as easy for me to use, but also give me valuable output. So this prompt will make the most novice ChatGPT user look and feel like a pro. First off, the prompt asks you what your prompt's theme is. So I usually give it the goal that I want, like I want a prompt to help me learn basic electrical skills. Then it will write you a quick prompt, like teach me basic electrical skills. However, then it asks you many detailed questions in which you answer them one by one. And once answered, it will revise the prompt and then ask more questions for you. Over time, you get a perfect prompt tailored to exactly what you are looking to do with ChatGPT and what your end goal is. Once again, to get all of these prompts for free, visit my website down in the description. No credit card, email, or anything like that is needed. I just want to provide these for you to use and enjoy and build with. That page will be updated over time with more and more prompts, so be sure to check back periodically, but I will likely post a video on new prompts that I write. Like I said, they take me quite a bit of time to write out and test, but check it out and let's keep on building things that are actually useful for you and your business. So until next time, guys. See you later.